Okay. This is actually a Zenith rep trainer blade that's fit to a legitimate handle set. See that? No swimming. No swimming. No swimming. Anyway, fuck that. All right, so you have your 316 stainless hex cap with knurling so you can twist it with your fingers. Your first O-ring goes on like that. Okay, what this O-ring is going to do, you'll see in the next step. So you just slide that up there. Then comes your self or your bonded sealing washer, which is stainless with a bonded neoprene washer that's chemical resistant. These are actually chemically resistant. Uh, oh shit, my battery's dying. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. One second. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Where'd that go? Okay. All right. So, stainless, blah, blah. These actually have been washed about six times. They don't show any worse for wear. Anyway, so this is your 316th bonded sealing washer. You'll put this on after that. You'll need to thread these into there. You don't want to push them because you want the rubber to be proper sealing. So once you get this up here, what this o-ring does, the first one, is it's just the extra layer of protection that nothing gets through that little spot on the bonded sealing washer uh, right here. Even though it's, it's rubber and it's threaded in, it's just better for an extra layer of protection. So there you go, you got that. <clears throat> then, whatever knife you're using, so if it's a replicant, I actually have Hom bushings right here. So you'll have your bushing in your blade, and this fits perfect on it. It's 316, so that'll center this whole assembly on that piece. All right, so now you're in there, and you'll just go again with that second bonded sealing washer, your second o ring, and your wing nut. Okay, and you'll just tighten that up until it's tight. Then for the other side, you'll just run the bolt this way and have you'll, you'll run the bolt this way and have the uh wing nut on this side because if you don't they'll bump into each other now this is for a squid because this will smash out the 410 if you're doing a replicant what you will do is if you do a replicant with these the holes will be or i'm sorry the masked off area will be bigger than the uh washer and it'll show but in the case of a replicant or every other knife that uses a uh, 3 8 inch outside diameter washer, you'll use these, which are slightly smaller. You see? And you'll just stack that right there. And that'll give you the perfect, the perfect little uh, thing. That's basically what you'll get right there. A couple different washers, just in case they wear out. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's about $15 in hardware. I'm making like five bucks on it. I mean, that's reasonable, I guess, for driving to the hardware store and looking around for it if they don't have it, going to another one. Or I can just give you a list of exactly what you need. Your local Ace hardware should have it. Um, up to you.